Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Bienvenidos Padras on mi canal. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my very first film ever. And I actually recently posted a poll on Instagram and a couple of you guys actually wanted to see it. So I was like, hey, why not? This film was actually made for a high school project for my film class. And it was probably the only class que le echaba ganas or whatever. And I did it with a couple of other people in my group. Three other people. Yet I still play the part of editor, director, sometimes producer, screenwriter, casi todo, ¿verdad? Anyways, the point being was that uh, this film was actually entered into the film festival, uh, which was under Latin American Cinematography or something like that. And it actually won for best documentary. It was unexpected. Ni ganas la chava. Y un día me dijo el maestro después de escuela, oh, read this paper. And I was like, oh, I don't even think I'm going to go to the film festival. And he goes, oh, maybe you should read it. So then I read it and it actually said we had one for that. Um, award and i was like oh so maybe i should go and yeah so the winner actually got a film camera like an actual movie film camera and then uh a check which i received the camera and also my check and everybody else in the group also got the check or should have got the check i don't know if they ever went to go pick it up or whatever but it's also pillow and yeah so just go on and keep watching and um the audio is actually live audio from the film festival and i hope you guys enjoy it The reason behind me wanting to bull ride was just because ever since I was small, I was exposed to this lifestyle. I was growing up going to all different types of bull riding shows, to all these different like lienzos and stuff. And the first time that I thought about bull riding, I was on my way to Mexico. My dad comes up to me in the middle of the sayacos. Sayacos is like a tradition that we have at my ranch where like people disguise themselves and they have like a bag of flour and like they put it on their face, the banda's playing and like everybody from the pueblo is walking around. So we were going, we were heading towards the Tori and my dad comes up to me and he's like, oh, you know, like I already chose your bull. I have your bull um, saved, like that, that's the one you're gonna ride. So I sat down and then I started watching and then I was like, oh my God, when is it gonna be my turn? So I was just sitting there and out of nowhere, like my dad goes, oh, come on, it's your turn. And I was like, oh my God, this is really scary. Like, I can't believe this is happening. Like, they start picking up like my foot and they start tying the thing and they start getting me ready. And then I thought, oh my God, like, I am not prepared for this. Like, I, I'm not even dressed properly. I had shorts on and my boots and a regular t-shirt and I had my hat on. So it was a little bit like, oh my God, like, I, what if I fall? Like, I'm gonna have scratches everywhere. So I sat on the, I climbed up and like the bull was going crazy and I was like kind of tripping out like oh no, like what's gonna happen, you know? So I got on the uh, bull and then the moment I got on, like it felt so weird. I, I had never gotten on a bull so I didn't know how its body structure was. I sat down and then I held on tight. Um, they go, oh, are you ready, you ready? I was like, yes, yes, I'm ready. And they opened the door and then out goes the bull. And I'm like, oh my God, like, I don't even know, like it happened so fast. I was holding on and I just felt me pulling up and like, I felt my hand come out and then I felt me trying to go back again and I got so nervous that like, when I flew out of the bull, I like didn't know what to do. The only thing in my head was just, do not put your arms straight. Like, do not say your arms straight because you're gonna get hurt. And when I fell, I felt so, like, I thought my life was like, over <laughs> because I like stayed down but then like when I realized like okay it did not step on me like I'm good like I got safe I like got right up I was like uh-uh like I'm not gonna stay down because there's a lot of people do and I got up the moment I got up I felt so weak from my knees and ankles like super weak I was like oh my god and I got up and like my dad walked me and I was like wow like this is what it feels like like oh my god like it was a bit scary but exciting in the moment. Since I was small, like my parents say that I had a passion for horses, and like I've gotten on horses like multiple times. I stood on a horse. I've I've fallen off a horse. Like like the difference between I guess falling off a bull and a horse is that um, is that my horse is more like noble mas mansito. So like the moment that I fall, like it's nothing happens. Like he he just stood there and like 
feel like, oh, you fell, get up, like, you know, like that type of thing. But when it's a wall, like, you don't step on you, and if you're gonna, you know, it's it's a different reaction. But, yeah, I, I really love horses, and they're beautiful animals, and I enjoy watching them dance, and like, making them dance, running them, like, I feel that when I'm here at the ranch, I'm like, free, I'm, uh, away from all the drama or like any little thing. I feel like it's like my getaway, I guess you could say. But the second time I rode a bull was the time where I was like, whoa. Like, this one was scary. Like, oh my God, you know? Um, this one was at a party. It was like a good mess, like a fundraiser. And um, I had told my dad, and I was like, come on, dad. Like, I want to ride a bull, you know? He's like, you know? like, he was just not letting me, you know? And I was like, come on, dad. Like, just one like like I want this last time. Like I just want to try it because like I felt that the first time I wasn't experienced, and now that I knew like what it felt like, I could probably fix what I did wrong the first time. Like so I can try to get a better experience. I was really nervous that time. I was like actually shaking, but not as nervous as my very first time. And I was like, oh god, you know. So my dad was grabbing the bull's tail, and um, they're like, are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. So I sat up on the bull and I hugged them tight. I was holding on so tight that like I got like <laughs> my hands got pretty good. So I held on and then I was like, oh god, here we go. And then like I went out and I was holding on and I was trying to stay up tight. But then the moment I dropped my shoulder, I think everything went wrong. I lost the went my head at that time. I honestly thought like damn, I'm gonna get stepped on my face like that bad. Because I like ended up punching the pool. I felt the pool in between my neck, like his two feet were like I'm just like and then I did feel a step on my, like, step on my rib. And I, yeah, like, I feel that was the time that I got mostly injured because, like, I actually felt the, the pain. But other than that, I, I don't regret it. It was pretty fun. And it was crazy. <laughs> Pues, uh, yo sentí un poco de preocupación porque dije, no, pues me la va a tumbar porque yo soy una mujer, no puede clientear y, y este, al subir en un toro está muy resbaloso y yo sabía que le iba a tumbar, yo sabía que le iba a tumbar pero dije, pues, le di ánimo para que se subiera y pues se subió y sí, sí la tumbó pero no, no, sentí, no sentí miedo, <coughs> simplemente un poco de preocupación Pero I do this again well, who knows? It just depends, you know, like in the moment, sometimes like things are like, oh yeah, come on, get on, get on, right? Let's go on, and here we go. You know, it's different, but we're still, I'm, I'm not sure, like, if I really would or not. Like, if I'll have the courage to be like, let us go on again, maybe I will, but it all depends on the day or the time or how I'm feeling that day. Claro que sí. Si quiere ella volver a, a, a montar, Lo va a hacer con más cuidado y ya con más experiencia porque yo sé que una mujer casi no se imagina y, y ella tiene mucho valor para hacerlo. Sí la admiro porque tiene mucho valor para subir, subir el hombre cero. Y yo sé que muchas mujeres no se animan a subir. Y sí, yo sí la apoyo, que subo otra vez. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video was actually really hard to edit. It was one of the longest videos ever in my life. It had to be at least seven minutes in order for it to enter the film festival. And it went from 45 to seven minutes and pretty good. Comment down below if you want any more like videos bailando, I don't know, jineteando, si quieren me subo otra vez. I don't know, something. I don't know. If you guys ask for it, I'll do it. And yeah, I'm gonna hopefully be posting more oftenly. Bruh, wow, you gotta be kidding me, Melissa. Oftenly? Really? Oftenly? I'm sorry, guys. I meant to say often. <laughs> y pues, ahí nos vemos hasta la próxima. Make sure, if you're new to this channel, you um, subscribe, 
like it. Yo soy Melissa del Toro por si no me conocen. Y si me quieren conocer más, keep watching more of my videos. And yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.